Hello, my name is Mark Catfield, and today I'll be telling you why I think you should work out. Working out seems daunting when you first think of it. You know, you have to get a gym membership. You have to get, if you don't want a gym membership, maybe you're scared to work out with people. You have to get equipment, and that can be really expensive. And so not only is it daunting on your wallet, it's daunting on your self-esteem, because even if you get that gym membership, even if you get that equipment, maybe you're scared that people will make fun of you. People will think, Oh, you're not, you're not this, you're not that, you, you're fat, you don't even, you're not worth it. No, it's not a negative space at all. When you work out, it's a positive, everybody wants to help each other, and sometimes you get some bad apples, but you just gotta move past it. In the end, as long as you have self-discipline and you are driven to get to your goal, whatever that may be, uh, you don't, as long as you get to that goal, it doesn't matter what happens, and You'll show everyone who says you can't that you can. Um, you don't. You don't. Even if you think that you might, you don't need anything to work out. You can do physical stuff. Think about like the army. You know, you kind of in the army, you don't really focus on lifting weights so much as you focus on doing like body workouts, which is like push-ups, sit-ups, cardio, stuff like that. And that, if your goal isn't to get big and even. I mean, you, trust me, you'll get big from that stuff, but if your goal isn't to like power lift or be like an Olympic lifter or something, then you'll be fine just sticking to your guns and doing push-ups, sit-ups, wearing them every now and again, you know, maybe hit up the park, play a little bit of basketball. That's never a bad idea. Um, you're just going to keep yourself healthy. And so if you're just trying to stay fit, um, you know, you don't really have to get all this equipment going. You don't have to get a gym membership, nothing like that, which is a good... Um, you know, it doesn't have to be so scary to get into lifting and working out because you your goal is whatever you want it to be. You work at your own pace, so there's never, you don't, you don't have to be scared of anything because every time you get, in the, you get in the weight room, every time you get to wherever your workout space is, you have your goal in your head and you know what you have to do to get that goal. You know that you have to do so many reps, so many sets, so long of a run. You know, maybe you do like, you do jump ropes, so do like 100 jump ropes, stuff like that. So you don't, you don't have to be scared because you're working at your own pace. You can do as much or as little as you want. You just have to understand that with doing as much or as little as you want, your, uh, your, what you get may vary. You may not get, you know, swole as fast as you would like to if you're only doing a little bit of weight or a little bit of like reps or sets or so on. Um, you will see benefits a lot faster when you work out than you might first think you would. You know, you don't, you aren't going to get, you know, big size, but you might start, you'll see definition fairly quickly, you know. It may not be within like a week, but you might, you know, if you look at the scale, which, which by the way, do not look at the scale every day. That can really kind of mess you up especially if you're trying to lose weight but you know because that can be it can vary anyways um you know if you're looking at your scale you'll see within a week maybe you'll lose a pound or you'll lose half a pound but either way that's still progress you know any amount of work that you do in order to benefit yourself and your like physical body is progress you know you do 10 jump ropes uh per week every week and you weigh 300 pounds well i mean that's 10 more jump ropes than you did every other week before that and that's another good way to, you know, work at your own pace and not have to worry about anything like that. And, you know, working out your end goal doesn't mean that you have to get bigger. Like I said earlier, you, your goals are what you define them to be. So if you just want to stay fit, then it's not really important how you work out. You know, it's, I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta make sure that you're not, you know, you could, dieting is very good and important portion of working out, you know, you don't need to be stuffing your face full of freaking whatchamacallits and Reese's Pieces, you just need to be, you may be eating a good balanced diet, you can obviously put some sweets in there, you know, some Dr. Peppers, you know, 10, 2, and 4, but, you know, don't, don't be rushing nothing like that, because you, you will see that it is a lot helpful for when you do that. Um, you know, not everything you get from working out is purely physical either. You know, you get benefits from, uh, you get benefits from mentally. You know, you feel happier after you, you get, you, it's physically proven or scientifically proven that you get like a serotonin boost and uh, you get some endorphins pumping. 
uh, when you or after you have worked out because you, your body can feel itself getting better and it can feel itself getting, um, you know, stronger and you feel healthier and you feel happier because you feel healthier. And, um, you know, it's not just mental as in happiness, it's also social because it, especially if you go work out or if you run, you know, there are like Facebook groups, you know, you know, not everyone likes to run alone. You know, maybe you do, you know, like to put in some jams, but like when you work out, it's good to work out with a partner because they can help you strive to, you know, if you do powerlifting, you hit those new maxes, everything like that. And, um, you just, you know, it's really helpful to get in with people in the scene on lifting because they can help you out. And they can make you feel not alone in a daunting scenario, which is in a gym or, you know, when you feel like you may be not worth much, but you are worth much because you are trying and that's important. When you work out, you know, everyone is rooting for you and it's not just about, uh, it's not just about you, it's about everyone getting better and not just, you know, soul person. No one's ever going to kick you out because you're too fat. Or you just, you don't look like you drive enough because whatever you do is up to you. Uh, overall, getting into working out is not as scary as it seems. Because, you you know, there's not as much judgment as most people think there is. And, it you know, and after you get over that leap and you start getting used to it, you'll see that the uh, benefits are not just physical, but social and, you know, mental as well. And I think that that's a good thing. Goodbye.